In this uh, third part of episode three, where I talk about my songs, uh, you'll remember that I've already spoken about the first eight, all of which have classical music themes behind them. But the last three of the 11 in the album Songs and Lovers are not from or don't rely upon any classical music. One of them I wrote myself called Autumn's Here Again. Uh, another one is a, is a cover of a, a song I rather like that's uh, created by a Swedish uh, artist Tobias Froberg and the third is um, a song about my granddad uh, but coming from not a piece of classical music but from nursery rhyme but a, a, a nursery rhyme I have to admit written in 1848 so it's quite a, a classic and it apparently all things bright and beautiful from which it comes is uh, the most popular of all the uh, nursery songs so there we are well to go back to Autumn's Here Again, um, this is a song about my second marriage where I had a little boy called Alex as a result. And my ex-wife was Serbian. She was also a microbiologist and had to go back to Novi Sad in Serbia to defend her PhD. Since this idea was only supposed to take about three or four weeks, we decided that she should take with her my little boy, Alex. But I, things didn't work out. The supervisor of her PhD happened to be in America and this extended her stay in Serbia. And I think at that point she realised that she didn't like living in Wales, she didn't like the weather and finally she didn't like me. So she wrote me a letter saying that she wasn't coming back and that she was keeping my son, which upset me considerably as you might imagine. And the song is about the feeling of remembering the little boy that you once had. The second song um, of those three is Love's Highway. Now that's a, a song I heard through a third party in the form of uh, Teresa Anderson. I was very interested at the time in live looping and she, in her own kitchen, produced a live looping version of a song which attracted uh, a great deal of interest and she, it went viral and um, she became quite well known and did concerts. And amongst them was this song called, at that time, God's Highway. And I, I got in touch with her and said, could I use it as a cover? And she said, well, I'm not the author. It's a friend of mine called Toby Froberg, so you better ask him, which I did. And he said, yeah, sure, use it. And so I changed the title, but not much else. The, the, the text is more or less, the lyrics are more or less his. And so is, the, of course, the melody. And it's a great little song and I think deserves a lot more publicity than it ever got uh, in Sweden. There are a few versions on YouTube, but um, this is mine. And then finally my granddad uh, and I had a great relationship. During the Second World War, children from London were what they call evacuated, it means something different now, but they were evacuated to places in the country to escape the bombing. And um, I was evacuated to Leicestershire, where I grew up with my grandparents, because my father had to stay in London during the war. And so my granddad and I used to go on walks, and this is really remembering the wonderful times he and I had together. And I'm sure I'm not the only one to have a granddad who's a very favoured member of the family. I used the well-known nursery song, All Things Bright and Beautiful, and wrote my own lyrics to it to talk about my granddad. Of course, the tradition continues, and the end of the song reflects that. So those are the last three songs on 
the um, the album. And uh, next uh, episode is where I try to find some interesting locations for the video shoots of the music video. And Madeira certainly has plenty of those. Yeah.